All right, I have been meaning to make this video, but I keep forgetting to or just get distracted. But basically, I get asked a lot as a grad student studying exercise science, a bodybuilder, and for the most part, more disciplined in all of those regards than I would say the average person. At least that's what people tell me at least. Um, and I get asked a lot, how did I get to a point of being this disciplined? And I just wanna like do this video because it's a lot easier to explain in video than it is in text message. Um, but basically, the way I think about discipline is in terms of love. A lot of the stuff that I do is very intersected and and like interdisciplinary. Like there are a lot of overlaps and a lot of ideologies that I have that cater to me being able to have such high discipline. And one of those is understanding is my ideology around what love is. Now for me, I define love as um, basically how Bell Hooks talked about it in her book, All About Love. Is that the only definition? Absolutely not. Read up on a bunch of different shit and find out whichever one works the best for you. This is the one that works for me. And in her book, she defines love as having several different other subcomponents. Um, it's obviously an action, it's um, trust, it's having knowledge, it's having responsibility, um, and a lot of other things about whatever you are making the subject matter. At least that's what I think about it. She was talking about other people, but I expanded into also subject matters and hobbies. So for instance, if you love a hobby like fitness, for me, at least in my definition of love, I have to have knowledge about fitness. I need to be committed to fitness. Um, I am being held accountable and responsible to fitness. And all of those go back to my definition that I've developed for love for myself, which is working towards knowing what my dreams are and working towards those dreams and that therein lies I think the root of my discipline is that because I know what I want to do it's very easy to tell myself to be disciplined with these other things because it's it's a it's a it's a component of my self-love and I love myself above all things. So it's not difficult for me to go to the gym even when I'm exhausted outside of, you know, I actually enjoy it and things of that nature. But like on, even on the days when I'm like, I don't wanna work out, it is very easy for me to remind myself like, hey, you are doing this because you want something. I'm doing this because I want something out of it. I want muscle mass, I want to be, on a competitive bodybuilding stage. I want to be impressive. All of those things are fine to actually have as well and to desire and want. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, and so by having and understanding those things, it's like, hey, if I want that, I need to stay committed to what's going to actually get me there. And therein lies the knowledge component of love. I have a lot of knowledge about fitness. I, I study it, I practice it, I breathe it. Um, so it's also very easy for me to stay committed to fitness because I actually understand what I'm doing. Um, and not just understanding it from a surface level, I understand it on a physiological level because that's what my master's degree is in, in exercise, science, physiology. Um, and so when you get to that level of understanding self-love, you redefine and Jasmine Gardens is really the one who kind of, um, got me to start thinking about redefining discipline because of the, um, maybe I won't say the toxic ideologies, but 
but you the less favorable understanding and connotations regarding around the word discipline. A lot of us growing up did not like what discipline meant. It means sitting down and doing things that you don't want to do at the time or anything like that. But when she redefined it as changing the word discipline to consistency, and I already knew this, but when you start to internalize certain terms and understanding that discipline and consistency are literally kind of the exact same thing, it becomes very easy because I want to be consistent. I want to be consistent because that's part of my self-love. That is my discipline. I want to be consistent because that is part of my commitment to my goals. Um, and that's just, once you have that all wrapped around in your brain and however it works for you, things just in general become very, very easy in being committed to doing the hard things when they get difficult. Another thing that I think a lot of people forget when it comes to fitness is you don't actually survive off of motivation for very long. Scientifically speaking, um, motivation is always, you know, extremely high when you are first starting out a workout or a new phase of training or anything like that. And it kind of goes down as, you know, that inspiration starts to, we got giant, sorry, there's like hawks and stuff flying all over the place. Um, we got a lot of crows in my area. Um, the crows are out. Um, and it's just, I forgot where I, what I was talking about, but yes, I would say, shit, that really got me fucked up. <laughs> hmm. What was I saying? But yes, as you go down, as you continue with um, your routines and everything like that, you'll start to realize that um, you don't really have a lot of motivation and it becomes very much a battle of discipline and um, consistency and just willpower in general. Um, and you just, a lot of people are saying it's time and it's like you get it in when you get it in. Like, um, my schedule changes every single four months because I'm still taking um, classes. So literally my workout schedule changes every four months with it. And I mean, it sucks. I would love to be able to stay consistent in that regard. I um, mean, not have to have so many changes all the time, but that's my situation. And you just kind of roll with the punches. You go with the flow. Um, so I would say that's another very big thing about understanding uh, motivation when it comes to fitness. You get it in where you can get it in, and that's literally all there is to it. At some point, it's either you do actually want to do it or you don't. You're going to mess up, you're going to fail sometimes, and you can't be scared of that failure because that's part of learning lessons. Like, I have, I literally have on this, on my YouTube channel, like, where I fucked up on a bulk, um, and like, it, in my opinion now, knowing what I know and being where I'm at, I, it was a bad, it was bad, it was bad, that was bad. I did a lot of things that I probably shouldn't have done. Um, and like I learned from those and now my bulks are much more efficient, much more effective, easier to measure, much more consistent, more reliable, um, more precise. It's you learn from your failures and you really have to get over that fear. And this is where I would say a lot of it comes into and starts getting connected to like my other ideologies regarding, you know, life and the world. There was 222 on the timer when I said that. Um, <laughs> but, um, you know, like this idea of being introspective and 
reflecting and shadow work or self-help, whatever you want to call it, diving into your own mindset, understanding your fears, understanding what are your self-determined flaws, what are flaws set by society, what are flaws that are rational, what are flaws that are irrational, fears that are rational, fears that are irrational, toxic ideologies, those don't have a rational or irrational, but you can source them. You know what I mean? Like you can source all of these things and all you have to do is really just be honest with yourself. It takes nothing to be honest with yourself um, and accepting the point that you are currently at and doing what you can, whether that's giving yourself 100% of the 60% that you actually have available for the day or giving 100% of 100% that you have for the day. It's just doing your best every single day and being okay if that's less or more than what you wish it was every single day. Um, but yeah, I would say that's that's how I do everything honestly honestly that's how i live life this is like my life ideology um and this is how i do and complete a lot of things and achieve a lot of goals and a lot of the success that i have it's just hey this is what we're doing this is my current point being realistic not trying to hide things from myself, accepting things, being like, okay, I could do this better. And then just try, just trying to do better. Like that's really all it is. And, and, and pushing through. Um, I don't, I don't know what else to tell you guys. I hope this helps somebody. Um, let me know if you have any more questions. Peace out.